everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome back to Giga Texas. Yes, I am still flying here despite my flight down in Corpus Christi a couple of days ago. But going down to that lithium refinery plant was very interesting. And now since I've had a chance to go through a lot more of my images and the video and collect a lot more information and do some research, I found out quite a bit that's going on down there. And I think that you're gonna be interested in that. So expect to see a multi-part uh, deep dive coming up on the lithium refinery plant that Tesla is building down at uh, Corpus Christi. And uh, check out my video that I did a couple of days ago in the meantime while we're waiting for me to finish up those uh, multi-part deep dives. But here at Giga Texas, it is always busy here and today is no exception. We first start off on the east side taking a look at the construction site for that multi-level parking garage and we see that a lot more work has been done on the grade, filling with the dirt, removing of the old outfall channel which used to kind of snake its way through and empty into the nearby pond. Now the diversions are underway, the underground pipes to direct the water to the diversions around the east side are underway and also they have the riprap uh, stone segments within the ch new outfall channel to help control the water flow and that whole area is growing tremendously. Next we'll stop on the south end of the building where there's two main things that I want to talk about. The first is over at Stamping 2 where they are continuing to install now what looks like steel studs on the steel columns and kind of framing out a exterior wall. Now the fact that they're using steel studs and they're going to be using what looks to be temporary wall panels suggests to me that this is only for a short period while the rest of the construction on the south side continues. Now in addition to that, on the southwest side, the crews are continuing to put more of those steel stud and the temporary walls on all of the sections that they removed, the wall panels and the windows as well. So it's kind of interesting to see how they're approaching this south end construction. Now speaking of which, a new development today, kind of exciting. We go across the highway over to the west new end of line facility and we see that for the first time steel columns and some of the steel beams have been erected and they're doing this on the north end on the slab that was poured about a week or so ago. In addition to that there's another very large section of slab getting ready to be poured and once that is complete about three-fourths of the entire slab for this new structure will be completed. Also nearby in the new car staging and uh, transportation lot that is under construction, we can see more trenching for more of those concrete underground water pipes is underway and it looks like more materials are being stockpiled as well. So it's great to see just how quickly this new facility on the west side of the highway is coming along, so it's great. Now, there is a lot more to see around the rest of the site today. Unfortunately, I did not actually see any cyber trucks. My feeling is that cyber trucks kind of stay up late. They're kind of a late night animal, and then they sleep in in the morning here, and then they make their appearances in the afternoon. At least that's what it seems like the current trend is right now here at Giga Texas. So hopefully some other drone pilots later on might be able to catch some more of that. But despite that, there is a lot to see. So anyway, take a look at the video. I hope you appreciate the narration of what you're able to see. And as always, thank you very much for your support. Take care. Thank you to my Patreon members and ex-subscribers. Members and subscribers gain access to hundreds of high-resolution images, previews of future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas.
Another great morning here at Giga Texas. We're going to start off on the east side over where the multi-level parking garage construction site is well underway and continues to transform. Now in the middle of this picture you can see that kind of curved channel. That's the original part of the old outfall channel that drained that sedimentation basin on the top of the screen. Now the diversion because of those underground pipes goes around to the east and around where the construction site is. Also on this side we can see continue to have earthwork here but also it looks like there may be a roadway being constructed through the middle here. It also looks like they're getting ready to put some more of those concrete water pipes to help uh, drain water through this section as well. So very interesting to see the amount of continued progress going on here to not only prepare the site for construction, but also widen it off to the north uh, along the uh, right-hand side of the screen. Now, as we continue to fly along the tree belt, this gives you a good view of the main construction site uh, and all of the work that is continuing to prepare this for most likely the construction of that multi-level garage and i think the bulk of it may be right in that particular area where you kind of see that gravel mix and also all of those uh center dump trucks uh, bringing in more dirt um, and uh, or at least moving dirt away and from this side and continuing to prepare this site the rest of the outfall channel you can kind of see that s-shaped uh, depression is almost completely filled and the work continues to get this entire site graded at the same grade. We also see some new excavation work here next to that pond on the right hand side of the screen. Now we also can tell looking at the concrete walls of the building that the white staining is continuing although they did skip a section over that area where they have that uh, temporary platform and the crane but they're continuing to work to the north. Also at the middle of the screen we can see the concrete work is continuing to finish up this northbound uh, double lane with the median of this road and then where the intersection is trailing off to the west and I'll reposition the drone so you can see how this progress uh, is uh, underway. The outline of the road is very evident now and you can see how the new road is going to uh, parallel just to the south the existing road. There's also some uh, trench work across that section for most likely more conduit and again this is our preparation to hopefully remove those shorter power lines. Now as I bring the drone down this is a great view of the uh, underway continuous flight auger pile drilling system. Uh, the actual crane with the drill is being repositioned and we'll see that in action a little later in the video. I wanted to spend a little time on the southeast side of stamping this kind of angled section of the building is where stamping is located and I wanted to give you some good views of some new equipment items that have been delivered here. You can see them at the bottom of the screen in that white wrap. You can see other materials, other equipment uh, along this side and then this is, gives you a really good view and sense of the amount of work and activity on this side of the building. Now as I turn the drone back towards the west we'll get a good view of stamping two this extension structure. Now we've seen not only have they painted the beams and columns white and that is completed, but now the crews are installing these steel studs and at the bottom of the uh, studs on the ground we can see some of those yellow temporary panels that are going to be mounted onto these studs. I think it's going to enclose this entire section uh, and allow more work and more production to go on inside while it's shielded from the construction work for the rest of the building uh, extension on the south end. You can see here crews working on the bridge crane rails and a little bit of a view inside even though the lighting is not great. But you can see those yellow temporary panels on the ground there next to where all of those steel studs are being installed. Uh, you can tell that the crane with the big drill is being repositioned up near where that opening is located. I'm going to fly between the two cranes uh, just to reposition the drone over on the southwest side just to show you more of the steel studs and those yellow panels that are being installed here. Again, those I believe are going to be temporary panels uh, to allow construction uh, to continue on the south end while production is uh, safe and uh, protected on the inside. 
And this gives you a really good view of the work uh, installing those yellow temporary panels right now on this end of the building. Also more of the steel studs on the ground. So there's a lot more that uh, is yet to be installed. And as I pull away, this gives you a good view of sort of the western half of the south end with some of the parts, uh, some of the items, some of the crates. On the left-hand side, about the middle of the screen, you can see more of the drills for that continuous flight auger. Uh, those bits are just waiting on the ground uh, for future use. And there's also some more parts of the crane, kind of those truss structures on the left. As I approach in towards the well, a few major changes here. We see some more trenching for conduit. We can see the uh, kind of square uh, concrete vault and some of the pipe work and possibly pumps being installed into that section. And then more of the conduit moves up towards the north, probably to connect into the building system. More deliveries that being made here by these accordion trucks. Um, some of the materials are flat, some of them are in crates. And we can see one of the items here being moved in. It looks like it's a robotic assembler, that yellow item underneath the plastic on a rail system. So it's sort of a partially pre-assembled item that's gonna be part of the uh, general assembly lines being installed in this part of the building. So let's get ready, we'll pass over to the uh, west side of the highway where there's some really interesting developments going on and another milestone. First, the earthwork here between the West Warehouse on Wheels on the left and the end of line facility looks like it's continuing and nearly uh, completed and graded out. We can see in the top of the screen the, the future new car uh, staging or outbound lot. And then here as I zoom in you get a good sense of the south end of the building where some more trenching is being uh, completed, more of the white pipes being installed, but also crews are laying down that yellow moisture barrier and some rebar and some other formwork to continue to extend the slab to the south. We see a very large section of the slab has been just recently poured with concrete, and you can see that the uh, crews are on those uh, uh, devices uh, that uh, will help smooth out that concrete. And then just to the other side, there's another large section just about ready for concrete pour, probably later today. Here we can see the concrete that was poured uh, last week. Most of it is uh, cross-cut and cured. And we see for the first time steel assembly of the structure. And here it looks like there's five of those kind of triangular shaped columns, a few beams, and then some other beams are temporarily supported by uh, these uh, columns here on this uh, north end. And uh, I would imagine that we're just gonna continue to see those uh, triangular columns on the left and then mirrored on the right uh, installed, and then they will continue to put the steel assembly. But this is a really good view of how that building is coming along and also how the outbound lot is looking with some of that trenching for the concrete pipes and some more materials. So let's get ready to uh, cross back over to the uh, east side of the highway and we'll resume taking a look at some of the progress here on the west main entrance. Now what you can see here is that the stainless steel Cladding continues to be installed onto the beams and columns, but also the shiny black or polished black, uh, possibly granite, uh, maybe other similar material uh, installation on that trapezoid is definitely continuing. You can see as I maneuver the drone, the reflections and just how shiny that uh, black material is. And here's a good close in. You can see more of that material on those uh, kind of the wooden racks getting ready for installation. And uh, this really gives you a good idea of how it is progressing and also how this overall section will look when it is completed, especially the reflections in the window. Uh, I think it's going to give a really interesting kind of a plaid-like symbol effect when it is completed. Not a lot of work on this temporary end of line that we just crossed over. We see uh, crews arriving for shift. Uh, right now off those uh, crew transport buses. And then as we continue up here towards the north end of the original General Assembly Line 1 and where the 4680s are produced, we see more of the materials have been arrived, uh, have arrived on these crates. Some of them have been uh, removed and uh, moved inside for assembly. And then here we see 
that uh, we have these rings. They almost look like stargates. Uh, I don't think that's what they are, but uh, some of the other machin machinery and materials that was here last week has obviously been moved inside. Uh, so progress is continuing at a very fast rate. More materials here. Uh, you can see some of the boxes have been emptied of the materials. And we also see what looks like some sort of maybe a conveyor system here with that uh, kind of blue material and that white uh, item and then many more wrapped in the blue and then more materials here as well. So this just continues the trend of a lot of equipment uh, arriving and being assembled inside the 4680 battery cell production portion of the building to continue to build out that uh, production capability. As I wrap around the northwest corner of the building, this is a good view of the north side of the uh, uh, factory. Some of the work that's being done and materials that are going into those uh, two temporary platforms on the right. And then here between these two platforms, which is the north part of the paint shop, we see more of these racks, which I think are used to uh, hold and maneuver bodies, uh, car bodies, uh, possibly Model Y, maybe the Cybertruck or both throughout the factory. Here on the northeast corner, we can see that some of the racks for the castings have been moved away. We continue to see a lot of work and even some materials and equipment being stored on that uh, apron on the left. And then here, more materials next to that Elite Refractory Services, where inside they're installing what I believe to be a very large kiln in the middle bay of the casting machine structure. And this is a good view as I pan the drone up on the entire east side of the building and the activity that is uh, underway today. And I'll turn back towards the building to give you a different perspective of the east side of the casting machine structure, what the castings and the racks look like today, and uh, just generally how this entire section appears. Also, this parking lot right in the middle of the screen has been resumed for car parking, all of the racks for the castings removed, and it looks like that cordoned off area just continues to have more of the conduit and the wires moved through the conduit for connection. As we pass back over the power lines, I'll bring the drone down and we'll take a closer look at the Megapack installation site. Gravel has been laid on the right-hand side of the screen to define the roadways. We can also see that the perimeter fence is coming along really quickly now, especially on the southeast and west sides. This is a good close-in view of the amount of wiring that continues to be uh, installed and connected between the mega packs and the transformers along this uh, installation. And then on the north end, uh, all of the uh, circuit breakers, especially those six smaller rectangular ones, have been installed. Most of the connections have been made. The large transformer is getting the catch basin uh, prepared uh, for uh, completion and it looks like some of the concrete has been poured. It looks like they need to do maybe the walls around this section and again this is uh, kind of a emergency protection system in case some reason the transformer leaks oil this will catch it and prevent it from going into the soil. So you can see how this Work is progressing today. Uh, looks like there's still work on the ground level for those uh, cable trays. Uh, those still look like they don't have any of the wiring installed. And then generally how this entire section looks. At the bottom of the screen, we can see that the conduit is continuing to be installed into those trenches. That will lead up to the north side of the electrical switch yard to connect these two facilities on this side. So I'll bring the drone up a little to give you a bird's eye view of the Megapack site and how it is progressing today. And you can see the trench work uh, continuing under the power lines to the east over towards where these uh, two trailers are mounted on top of the underground vault. And uh, as we kind of talked about last week, it looks like uh, there's only going to be two of those trailers, not three, although there is a cutout, a rectangular cutout on the top of the vault. So perhaps for future expansion, they may uh, have that as an option. The temporary retaining fence has been completely removed. Now you can see the crews are filling in the uh, remaining of the trench between the fence and that underground vault. We also see more trench work and concrete vaults here at the bottom center of the screen. And then overall, this is how this site uh, looks today. A good zoom in just to give you a good sense of 
how this uh, looks today with the uh, continued uh, construction. And then as I uh, zoom out and pull away, this is a good overview of the entire electrical switchyard and mega pack site. So let's proceed over the Martin Marietta batch plant and we'll take a look at the battery cathode plant and complex of structures shortly. That was a good look at the east side. I'm gonna zoom in to show you that that multi-level item, you can just see it on the inside to the right. Uh, it looks like all seven levels were completed over the weekend and early last week, and then it was rolled inside. You can also note on the ground slab next to that forklift, the rail system has been removed, which suggests that that was the last of these three tall structures that were pre-assembled outside and then moved inside. So it looks like that work, uh, at least uh, for now, is completed on the inside of the battery cathode plant on that side. This is a good look at the equipment room on the left and the crash uh, test structure on the right. Looks like the rounded roof has been extended all the way to the south end of the current walls and more work is going on on the inside. We can see those white and that red Model X that will eventually be uh, sacrificial test vehicles for this crash test facility. We can also see that very large brown rotisserie where the two workers are. We can see the trench with the cable to pull the vehicles. This north utility office is, looks like it's uh, getting a uh, wall-mounted air conditioning unit today. And as I pivot around, this will give you a little bit of a view inside this section. It looks like more equipment and at least three of those red vehicle lifts have been installed. And that trench again for the cable uh, looks like it's well uh, positioned now, maybe, uh, maybe close to being operational as well. And then this is a good view as I pull away of that entire structure and also the east side near the battery cathode plant. The wade pit looks like they've got some concrete dividers uh, on the east side. Also that uh, kind of H-frame structure, that was what they used to uh, prepare to install the crash wall in the crash test facility. The wade pit itself is empty, so it looks like it's not uh, being used at this moment in time, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if soon we see more of the uh, testing of vehicles going through that uh, wade pit. As I continue to fly to the uh, northeast of the battery cathode plant, there's a good overall view of the plant, the dye shop in the background, and of course the large main factory. Also many of the materials, those stainless steel tanks, and a lot of the earthwork that has continued in this section. I'm going to pull all the way away uh, to the northeast so you can get a good appreciation for the amount of earthwork that has been done. A lot of the trees have been removed on the right-hand side of this uh, uh, view and as we cross over the trees you'll see the rental equipment lot and also over the maintenance and we also get a good chance to see where a lot of the concrete segments have been moved here from what used to be over where the clearing is located this is all the concrete that was broken up and removed from the south end of the main factory about uh, almost a year ago this is a good close-in view of some of the rental equipment. Uh, there's a new Quonset hut next to those trailers and containers. And then this is the maintenance uh, facility. And this is a good view inside so you get a good look at uh, how that uh, looks and how it operates. But a lot of the rental equipment is stored up in this section of the site. As I look across the hills and ponds of the old gravel mine, we can see that large field, which we know is permitted for the North Logistics lot and the warehouse. We we'll also see a lot of those materials still being stored here. Most of those that we see are parts of uh, production equipment that will continue to build out the production capability at Giga Texas as that uh, continues. It's a really good view of downtown Austin across the, uh, the way towards the uh, west and across over where you can see the Megapack and electrical switch yard. And then as I turn back again, a great view here of the main factory, the dye shop, and the cathode plant, and you can see at the back the International Airport with an airplane taking off. 
So we'll continue to fly back towards the southwest along these uh, uh, area where all of the earthwork and the trees have been removed and also this large hill on the left completely gone now and we're going to fly up over this uh, section with all the trees which is again part of the remnants of the sand and gravel mining that used to be done here and what I want to show you is a close-in view right across this pond which is mostly filled in now of this large pipe it's like an underground well we saw last week some testing with water in it uh, I think it was for leak testing, from what I understand. And then here it looks like they are doing some more work, possibly getting ready to fill in this section. Maybe it's uh, complete for right now, but uh, it's uh, interesting to see how this project develops. As we fly up over the west side and the steel corrugated pipe, I'm going to bring the drone down here and show you a very a lot of detail that's going on, some of the trench work that is underway. You'll see the black long HDPE pipe. This is usually used for treated water and it looks like it's uh, finally got its uh, way over here and it's being trenched down the middle of the alleyway. We can see work on the chiller plant on the left and those EVAPCO fan units. Also the work on the tanks and the nitrogen generator. And again, looking down here, the trench work um, that is underway. Also, it looks like two cranes near that slab, so we may be seeing some equipment moved and installed there very soon. I'll take this opportunity to give you a bird's eye straight down view of the nitrogen generators and vaporizers on the left, all the manifolds that you can see, the tanks uh, in the middle, the uh, work that's going on on the roof here on the left-hand side of the Evapco units, and then this large rectangular opening with all of those white pipes underneath it on the north side of those Evapco units. So a lot of intricate work going on here on that uh, chiller plant and within that uh, alleyway between the two vehicles, or buildings. And here, as I bring the drone down, we take a look at the uh, external device may be a furnace or a kiln of some sort with its own roof here on the northwest corner of the die shop. And this is a lower altitude view of how that looks today. And then we're going to fly along the east side, uh, correction, the west side, where we see this has been widened up uh, over to, towards the trees. We can see the crews working near where the window line will be, and there's a lot of scaffolding on the inside as well. So it looks like there's internal work being done, possibly with HVAC ducting. There's a electrical crew uh, busy here with these shorter power lines. Uh, I'm not sure if they're doing some rewiring or if they're preparing to move these or remove those shorter power lines. So something to watch. The TKS paint system. Uh, still has items out here waiting for installation. It looks like there was just a new delivery here on this truck of some more items, and you can clearly see that's labeled as TKS. Again, this is a modular paint system. Uh, it's one of many that have been installed here at Giga Texas, and it looks like uh, they are installing probably the third of those modular systems right now somewhere in the factory. Here we see some more interesting deliveries. I think these are most likely uh, work uh, uh, tool chests and uh, in those uh, kind of see-through crates, but uh, it's hard to be 100% sure. As I fly back towards the south along the east warehouse on wheels, I'm going to give you a good view here of the uh, new car outbound lot. Uh, it's very busy with model wise, as you can see, and a variety of colors and interior trims. A lot of trucks picking up the model wise and moving them off site. But the thing that I do not see at this point in time is any cyber trucks on this outbound lot. Uh, as I mentioned in the intro, maybe the cyber trucks are night animals. They sleep in early uh, or in the morning, and then they get up for the afternoon. So that's maybe why we don't see them today. But uh, sorry, nothing uh, to show you with cyber trucks today. However, I will show you a lower level view of this clearing where the multi-level parking garage will be constructed. And also here, the testing and calibration lot, the wind tunnel, that white item on the right, and also the rainmaker, that item on the left with the orange door, and the uh, helicopter pad as well. On the left-hand side of the screen is the test track, and we also have this uh, covered structure by the test track. 
and of course the superchargers mini vehicles here in the uh, testing calibration lot and again just zooming in here to show you unfortunately it's just a lot of model wise no cyber trucks today but i'll take the opportunity here to give you a good close-in view of the east side of the main factory there's a lot of some interesting deliveries that are being made here next to these new receiving doors with the green load levelers and i think uh, what this signifies is that this portion of the factory that has been added and those receiving doors may actually now be operational, which is really great to see, and that adds additional capacity for the factory. Here we see more form work near where those uh, two receiving doors are on the left, and more preparation work to complete the concrete apron in front of those doors. Another great sign. As I bring the drone up to a higher altitude, I hope you enjoyed the views and the discussion and uh, everything we were able to see here today at Giga Texas. As always, thank you very much for your support and uh, continued uh, encouragement for what I do. I very much appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care.